Sure. And joining us now, another great man, another great friend of the show, but I want to lead into John Lott Jr. with this clip from Hillary Clinton. We have just too many guns on the streets, in our homes, in our neighborhoods. And, you know, there's been a lot of talk in this campaign, in the primary campaign, about uh, the power of certain interests in our country. And we do have a bunch of powerful interests, make no mistake about it. But there is no more powerful lobby than the gun lobby. None. We're actually, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually uh, fixing John Lott's uh, audio right now. Uh, again, live television. But let me just say something. You heard what Hillary just said. There's no more powerful lobby than the gun lobby. So on one hand, on one hand, Hillary and the Democrats say that, repeat that as a mantra, believe that, whether they believe it or not, they say it over and over and over and over again, right? The president has said it. They all say it. That evil gun lobby, they're so powerful. There's nobody more powerful. We're going to take on that gun lobby. So today, in case you're just joining us, Donald Trump, this will be cut 88, guys, 88. Donald Trump, uh, at a rally, said this, and this is causing a raucous. Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish, the Second Amendment. By the way, and if she gets to pick... <laughs> if she gets to pick her judges... Nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. All right. So, although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. So the left is saying that this was a message. Hil uh, Donald Trump was calling for Hillary to be assassinated. Okay? Trump's campaign is saying, no. He's talking about how... The, the, the pro-gun people in this country are powerful politically and they coalesce and they, 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 you know, they rally around each other. And so on one hand, Hillary wants it that she could call the NRA and the pro-gun people the most powerful lobby in America. And then when Donald Trump references that, they want to turn it around as if he's saying someone who believes in the Second Amendment is going to do something bad to Hillary. You know, that's typical. Typical. I'm so glad we had that cut. I was going to play it for John Lott, who has a new book, and we do have John Lott. Uh, he's the president of Crime Prevention Research Center, author of The War on Guns, a brand new book, The War on Guns, Arming Yourself Against Gun Control Lies. I know we're putting that book up on the screen. I just know it. And there it is, War on Guns. Hello, John. Great, great to talk to you, Steve. Great to talk to you. What do you make before we start? I, I, I don't know how much you heard or how much you heard before you came on of the latest controversy today where Donald Trump, you know, touting the power of the, uh, the Second Amendment crowd said maybe you guys could stop Hillary from appointing uh, um, uh, uh, justices who would do away with the Second Amendment. And the left is trying to turn that into uh, that he was calling for something bad to happen to Hillary. I think just a roach chest on what different sides think about guns. I mean, anybody who knows about the NRA or about concealed carry permit holders know how incredibly law-abiding they are as a group. Concealed carry permit holders, I can't find another group in the U.S. population that's as law-abiding as they are. But yet Democrats, whenever they think about guns, they think about people going doing crazy things. They never think about the law-abiding citizens part of that equation as opposed to the people who want to go and try to commit harm. And, you know, in any case, the Trump campaign came out instantly afterwards, as soon as they were asked about any confusion with regard to that, and explained exactly what you were saying, that they were talking about the political power of having all these millions of members for the NRA going out and voting and making a difference in this election. So, you know, even before the Hillary campaign was able to go and put out its statement, they had already made it clear, and yet... Right. It doesn't seem to have mattered. doesn't matter. John, stay where you are. We're coming back with you in the next segment. Um, we have a special message, though, to give to our DirecTV viewers. Uh, Newsmax TV shows are moving to Channel 366, effective at the end of this week. In fact, we're already airing this show and our full Newsmax lineup on JLTV. That's on DirecTV Channel 366. So we encourage you to tune into that channel. Watch us there now. That's channel 366. Up next, more with John Lott and your calls at 877 Newsmax.
All right, folks, we're back with uh, John Lott, uh, Jr. First, we have a special message to DirecTV viewers, Newsmax TV shows. We're moving uh, to Channel 366, effective at the end of this week. In fact, we're already there. This show and our full Newsmax TV lineup is on JLTV on Direct TV Channel 366. So we encourage you to tune into that channel and watch us now. That's Channel 366. All right, John Lott, Jr., President of Crime Prevention Research Center and author of a must-have new book, The War on Guns, Arming Yourself Against Gun Control Lies. Uh, let's get to a phone call, John, at 877-NEWSMAX and say hello to Joe in Black Canyon City, Arizona. Hello, Joe. Hi. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm waiting to talk to Steve. You got Steve, uh, Joe. Oh, Thank you for calling. Uh, what can we do for you, sir? Thanks for taking my call. My pleasure. Yeah, all this gun control is actually, I believe, that just the politicians are afraid of the public. Uh, the uh, Like in that movie, uh, Hillary's America. Yeah, Dennis D'Souza's movie, uh, yeah. The Republicans that aren't supporting Trump, that don't want to talk about that movie, are just as bad and just as big a crooks as the Democrats. Yeah, I got to tell you, John, John, the fact of the matter is, uh, Joe is right. And, you know, this election is all about, and th Joe, thank you for the call, is all about the Supreme Court. I believe we'll have limitations on the First Amendment implemented if Hillary gets her picks. You won't be able to say this about a Muslim or that about someone else. It'll be hate speech. You'll be punished for it. And I believe that the Second Amendment will just about, in effect, go bye-bye. Right. Look, Hillary's pledged multiple times that she wants to overturn the Heller decision, which struck down D.C.'s gun ban and Chicago's uh, law that banned guns. And, you know, if you allow governments to again ban guns, I mean, what is there left with regard to the Second Amendment? But the caller raises an important point. One of the things in Dinesh's movie is the impact that the Democrats have had on blacks, and particularly poor blacks. And I think gun control is an excellent example of that. You look at the different regulations, whether it be these background checks on private transfers, or the different fees that they're trying to impose, who do they think they, they disarm as a result of those types of rules? When I'll give you one example from the war on guns, and that is uh, in 2013, I was helping some state legislators in Colorado when they were facing these background checks on private transfers, and I had a suggestion to put an amendment up that would exempt people below the poverty level from having to pay the new state tax on transferring guns. Mm -hmm. With the exception of two pro-gun Democrats, every one of the other Democrats in the state house there voted against exempting people below the poverty level from having to pay that tax. That's a great point. And you know what? I'd like to see those scrutinized by the judiciary. Somebody bring a suit saying they're, pr they're biased against minorities like they do for the voting uh, ID laws. I'd like to see that happen. Hey, John, great book, important book, full of these kinds of things. There's no better expert on guns than John Lott. And uh, The War on Guns is the book. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. It's always great to talk to you. And uh, best of luck with the book, sir. Thanks. I think it's the best book that I've written. All right. Thank you, John.